Welcome to the second part of the hardware review of the VKB Gladiator NXT Premium. In this part of the three-part review series, we look at the installation, firmware updates and setup, as well as the configuration of individual buttons and sticks. We also use one of the analog sticks as a switchable additional mouse and introduce the hardware and software customization options of the Gladiator NXT Premium series. And as in every guide, you can use the timestamps in the video to jump to the areas that are of interest to you or that you would like to see again. In the first part of the series, we already covered the unboxing, the assembly and the first impression. But first of all, a big thank you to the real ladies and gentlemen who made this video possible with their support as Patreons, channel members or Twitch subscribers. Thank you! The Gladiator joysticks are directly recognized as joystick input devices in Windows after connection via USB 2. However, it is advisable to first update the firmware to the latest version and carry out an initial calibration for maximum functionality. The software also offers extensive customization and individualization options. In the download area of vkbcontrollers.com we get the firmware package, the configuration app, the necessary bootloader for the firmware update, as well as the possibility to test all functions with the joy and button tester. We also find the PDF manual in English here. After unpacking the downloaded files, it is a good idea to move the contents of the bootloader and the VKB device config to a folder in which the firmware folder is also located. The optional joy and button testers are not needed until later. We start the VKB device config and enter the very extensive configuration program, which not only allows firmware updates but also any adjustments. In the upper area, we find all connected, compatible devices and their current firmware versions. If we select the device, it is loaded and we can select the corresponding firmware file of our NXT from our downloaded firmware folder. In the next step, under Tools and Bootloader. After selecting the appropriate firmware file, we are given the option of flashing it to transfer the firmware to the stick after which we receive a confirmation and the device is reinitialized and the new firmware is displayed accordingly. The flashing process itself only takes a few seconds and in our tests with several sticks it went off without any problems or incidents. In our case we connected two Gladiator NXTs and also selected the second stick. First we get the message that no boot device was found and that we have to select it with a double click. After this has been loaded, we can then select and flash the firmware as usual. The firmware versions in the download area of vkbcontrollers.com are the latest tested and approved release versions. You can update here without hesitation. After the installation and firmware update, we recommend calibrating the sticks to ensure maximum precision and performance. After the first installation or an upgrade, we first select the option Find and Auto Config on the Tools and Global to prepare a complete calibration. After completion, we switch to Tools, Test and Access before we press Start Calibration to carry out the calibration. Here we see directly the deflection of our movements as well as the graphic implementation in the tool. We move all axes, pitch, yaw, roll, the rotation as well as the mini sticks in the entire movement spectrum, as well as the small thrust controller on the base station. In addition, it is a good idea to press all the buttons once, whereby we complete the calibration with the end calibration function and our Gladiator NXT is ready for use. In our case, we also calibrate the left stick once completely. To do this, we select the same menu items and start again with a full range of motion as well as pressing all buttons and sticks. In principle, it is a good idea to recalibrate if we notice incorrect entries, unclean entries are made or a new configuration is used. 
After the firmware update and the calibration, in our case for both DICs, we have made our VKB Gladiator NXTs ready for use and can start directly into the game and carry out the configuration. For this, however, it is a good idea to first get to know all the buttons and knobs that can be used. Because the NXTs offer a number of options. For example, on the main firing button we have two buttons switched in sequence, which allows two consecutive functions. The rapid fire button can be pulled or pushed, which also offers two functions. At this point alone, we have four assignable functions on two buttons. On the A4 position, we have a four-way stick, which can also be pressed. The same range of functions is also offered by the A3 position, which, however, can be clearly distinguished haptically due to its round shape. Positions A2 and B1 each have a single button. A highlight is the analog 8-fold mini joystick, which can also be pressed and which we will use as a switchable mouse in the following. On the position C1 we again have a pressable 4-way stick, as well as on the D1 position a button for the little finger. On the base station there are three individual buttons, two knobs that functions like a mouse wheel and a surprisingly finely adjustable mini thrust control. So there is definitely no lack of buttons and functions. As mentioned, the NXT offers extensive customization options, whereby we convert the analog mini joystick into a switchable mouse. To do this, we select the corresponding stick, first go to the mouse option under Tools, Common and select Relative and Always On. Then under Profiles and POVs, we find the mouse option in the drop-down menu under Output. As soon as we click on the Set option in the Actions tab, our new settings are transferred to the stick. We have already activated the mouse function, which can be activated or deactivated by simply pressing the analog stick. If the function is not active, we can still use our mini stick as such, and only switch on the mini mouse if necessary. The function status is indicated by the red LED on the left. As an example, we can use our mini stick as usual, which is displayed as rotation X and Y. If we press the stick, we switch to the mouse mode and can move our mouse pointer with it, whereby the rotation X and Y function becomes inactive. However, what we are still missing for a complete mouse function is a mouse button, which we can assign to ourselves via tools, buttons and profiles. If we activate the poll function here, we can have our pressed buttons displayed on the joystick. This way we can quickly find the right button for our future mouse button. Once we have found a suitable button, we click on it and can select the button in the menu and activate the mouse function. Finally, we specify the type of mouse button, in our case the left one. If we then press the set function again under action, our new settings are transferred and we have a left mouse button available in future. The configuration possibilities are extremely extensive, which makes it possible to implement almost any function and to adapt the NXT completely to our needs. We have decided to place the mouse button on position B1 to ensure an optimized mouse operation with the mini stick. The procedure here is identical to the first assignment, whereby we again display the corresponding button via the poll function and then configure it. After transferring the settings to the stick, we have completed our configuration. In the end, our Minnie Mouse works surprisingly well, although the fine precision due to the stick movement still needs a little more practice. However, this is already sufficient to avoid having to take the hand of the stick in the game, for example to make menu entries or confirm simple clicks. This gives us real added value, which can significantly increase the immersion, and especially offers a great potential and connection with virtual reality. And if we don't need our mouse function, we can simply deactivate it again by pressing the mini stick.
Another customization option, in this case on the hardware side, is the option to change the analog mini stick on the A1 position into a 4-way switch or even to change the 4-way switch on the C1 position into a simple button. In the premium version of the VKB Gladiator NXT, we already find the corresponding material in the scope of delivery, which makes such a conversion possible without restrictions. Definitely a plus! In order to check all functions on the NXT without having to accept long loading times into a game, for example, the two test tools, Joy Tester and Button Tester, are available. These can be used to try out various configurations and functions, which are also displayed graphically. The possibility of virtually increasing the number of buttons by means of software can also be checked for a corresponding function. Any calibration errors, hardware problems or functional limitations can also be detected and, if necessary, rectified directly by the user. And finally, a note on the English language PDF, which offers extensive instructions for the configuration software, which is not really easy to use, but is very comprehensive. Alternatively, there are many specialized instructions and videos in the support area of vkbcontrollers.com. In the following third and last part of the review series on VKB's Gladiator NXT, we finally deal with the configuration, especially for Star Citizen, offer you various templates for download, as well as some tips and tricks for the control. See you next time!